right, all right. And what do we have here? This is the Condor Kingfisher Machete. Let's get that in the light. Uh, sword Machete. You know what you think of that. That bad boy. This is uh, Night Guy once again. Thank you for joining us. Um, well, let's see here. Night Guy 87. Um, this was one of the first pieces I got as far as broadswords were concerned. Um, just very inexpensive. I did a full review on it, a close review. Go ahead and check that out. Let me know what you think. Um, anyhow, what can I say about this? Uh, it just jumped out to me, not just the cost. Um, this was actually, I, I picked this up from watching one of Skalgrim's videos. This is said to be a tatami laser. Um, I don't have any tatami to test cut with it, but I do have a water jug, so we're going to do our standard testing methods. Um, I haven't done any paper test on this, but honestly, the edge isn't really too thick. Um, I mean, it is a little thick, I should say. The blade profile is, is pretty thick on this, if you can see that there. Pretty meaty, chunky blade. Um, but uh, for the cost, this was relatively inexpensive. I don't remember. I'd have to watch the other review video. Check that one out. Uh, I mentioned the price in that one. I know it wasn't over, I want to say, 60 bucks. Um, and just for what you get for the money, this is incredible. You have, you know, three, three fullers running along here. It's double-edged almost completely. The, the second uh, reverse edge or a short edge ends right about here, which is pretty much, you know, the distance that you'd want it to be to pull off any of those uh, short blade cuts. The other side is, you know, fully bladed, the long blade. And look at this elaborate, uh, you know, hilt design or handle design there. You get a nice little knuckle bar all the way through. You have almost a catch here, you know, as a catch guard. And, you know, this is just, to me, is just incredible. Um, I feel this would fit into today's theme. I was doing a pirate theme today. I did a review on some of my cutlasses, cut and thrust test. Go ahead and check those out. Let me know what you think. I think this would be something that a pirate may carry also. I mean, you know, I could definitely see this being useful on a ship. It's not too big or cumbersome, you know. If you were to carry it, it wouldn't really get in the way too much. Uh, it's nice and light. Um, you know, it can cut and thrust. Um, it's basically, you know, a pirate that likes broadswords, I guess you could say, would want to use this. This seems like it'd be very useful uh, for utilitarian purposes. You could definitely cut through a, a nice chunky rope if you needed to as well as people. <laughs> um, anyhow, um, we're just going to cut through some bottles today. So let's uh, go ahead and get to it. Thanks for joining us. Night Guy, again. All right, I'm going to start with just a simple downward cut, diagonal downward. Ooh. I feel like I kind of twisted my edge off a little bit there. But either way, it still went in nice and deep. I think I messed up that cut though. All right, we're gonna try another diagonal cut. See if I can get a little cleaner with my left-handed side. Wish me luck. <laughs> Seems like I just hit the top there, just the bottle lid. Came in a little too high, I guess. Uh, I guess that's good or bad. All right, it's uh, pretty hot out here, and I'm probably just getting a little fatigued from all the cutting I've been doing. So I definitely missed that one. But uh, you can see here, I'm getting the light there. No edge damage, even hitting the uh, bottle lid. Let's see if we can try another cut. Gonna try one more diagonal one for good measure. See if I can pull it off. Much better, much better. All right, let's move on to some vertical cuts. See what we can pull off. Clean there, look at that. Lid came right off the top. All right. All right, I find a blade like this is a little bit challenging. And maybe it's just my form that's not correct here. Still, I'm a beginner once again. Um, just, it's very light. So when it encounters mass, uh, it's a little bit tough to get through. I, I think, you know, then again, that may be 
my uh, incorrect form. Let me know what you think. Anyways, we're going to try to pick a plastic bottle. I'm going to see if I can try a two-handed cut on this one. See what we can pull off. Wish me luck. Well, we definitely chopped in, but uh, no real penetration there. can say is that factory sharpness this is not the sharpest of blades I don't know if that's what's stopping me um, uh, you know I won't blame the blade I'll normally just go ahead and blame myself for improper form let's see if we can try this again again all right and this time I'm just gonna go straight to the thrust see what I can pull off look at that almost can hold it all right let's try another one left hand side this time not quite I don't know if you can see there but uh Kind of get that in focus there. That's a pretty rounded uh, tip there. Um, I'm going to try to sharpen that out as well as, you know, just overall sharpen this blade. And then do more cut and thrust tests to see how she performs. Let's try that left-handed thrust again. Clean <sighs> through there. Not bad, not bad. Actually, let's do that one. Yeah. So you can see, cut clean through also. All right. All right, it's once again, once again time for a tree branch test. Yes, this wood is all rotted out, probably uh, termite infested, but I don't need it to be too tough. Not for this test, this is more of a medium test. Let's just see how the edge retains. I don't think I'll have any issues with edge retention with this thing. Oh, yeah, you can actually see in there, there's still some decent uh, wood in there, deep in there. And it's uh, cutting through it just fine. Let's give it some more chops there. Yeah, not bad. Not bad at all. Let's see what I could get in one good chop. Definitely cleaved that in half, went through, and hit the 2x4 under it, and uh, no edge damage there. See that? No edge damage there. Alright, time to move on to the thick log test. Same log I was using earlier. So there's some cuts here and here already. I'm just going to flip it over and cut on this side, on this side here, where it's nice and fresh. We're going to give it a few of the similar chops like one-handed chops that is and then I'm gonna switch over to a overhanded double-handed chop see what that does it's uh, definitely biting into the wood all right so you can see here definitely did some damage to the wood See what happens when I do one good downward chop. All right, there you have it. Let's also try a thrust, actually, now that I mention it. Now that you mention it. Ooh, that thing bit my hand there. Okay, so a little bit of feedback. This thing is solid. See that there? Um, the handle is very solid, but um, it's not the most uh, forgiving on hitting uh, harder targets. You could definitely feel the vibration shaking through to your hand. Um, not to mention, you know, if you're if you're trying a downward cut, this piece here isn't the most forgiving if it hits your hand.
kind of what happened to me there. I made the mistake of trying to cut this way, which I don't recommend. Maybe try something like this. Let's see if that feels any better. With the guard facing forward as opposed to the guard facing yourself. Yeah, a little bit better. But I'm still a little nervous that if I come in with too much force, that my hand's gonna get caught here and that really bites into you. Um, so, you know, that'd be the one downside. I mean, this thing isn't meant to chop wood anyways. So, um, you know, for just standard cut test, I think it'd be just fine. Um, anyways, I'd still would definitely recommend this to any beginner. Um, anyone looking for a good broadsword-like object that's relatively inexpensive. Uh, my only complaint is that this thing really isn't a little bit longer. And maybe, you know, a more comfortable design without this uh, finger groove there. It doesn't really assist in cutting that I, as far as I can tell. But, you know, um, I still like it. Still think this thing would definitely be very useful, uh, you know, as a practice tool or even, you know, if you were on a ship or in battle. Um, 